Okay, once again, all my stuff is based on my electron flood theory, and I also believe I can explain virtually everything that we are witnessing that is not being explained by uh, electron flood theory. All that exists are, are electrons, which are actually barb magnets, they're not st strictly negative, tiny little particles, in 1836 of them make up the proton, and so forth, and uh, electrons are added together to make photons. They're back-to-back -back electrons, a plus and minus, plus and minus, just upside down, back-to-back. -back. Now, protons are 1,836 electrons, average. They, you know, they can go a couple over here and there, a difference, but those are called isotopes. Then you have, um, we'll go through that. I, I've, I've gone through that very deeply. Now, I'm going to show you something, and I'm going to leave it at this. I think the, the, anomaly here that's in the, the South American anomaly or the uh, it's it is anomaly and a magnetic anomaly off of South America it's right in that area and I believe it's due to the spin of the earth and a, a some kind of a coastal impact and I believe it's uh, I, I figured it out. I forget where it is. I, I, I did a video on it, or I will have a video on it, and it explains how the spin of the Earth and s the the ridge hitting the heavy amount of particles that we have in the air now, because our Earth is so flooded with electrons now, it's overloaded. It's overloaded. That's what all these brush fires and fires and all these uh, um, storms and you know changes in the the temperatures and all this business and uh, weather problems and global warming. The more we the, every time an electron hits the Earth, it doesn't bounce off and go back into space. It's it's electrons are the particles that create heat. This is what they do. They're, they're not nothing, and they come from the sun as dark energy and dark matter as they come through space, and then they slam into something, they illuminate, and they create heat, and they glow, and if they hit the earth, they stick. 99% of them stick in my world. And they, some of them re-radiate, obviously, but most of them are coming down as the heat and the light and the colors and the plants grow and everything else happens because of this crushing particle event that has continued for a very long time and now we are overloaded with particles that are shooting back into space. We don't want them here anymore. We have too many. We're overheating. That's the way I'm taking it. Okay, my friends, this is about John Keynesius, who discovered amazing things. Now, what he did was he had cancer and he wanted to cure himself. I said, you're weak, I've done it. John Kansas invented a radio wave machine as a cure for cancer. Got to get in here. And then he tried it out on his own cancer. So you're doing it well, this minute? we're talking, yeah. We followed his story for over a year and into the laboratory. There. Okay, perfect. Where there's already excitement about killing cancer cells. And then you put them in John's radio wave machine. Exactly right. And 100% kill. 100% kill. All right, now that is that.